Hey guys, Rob here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So before any of these YouTube channels start their video or end their video, they always say the same thing. Please hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. I get it. It's super redundant. But if you decide that this content is worth viewing and you want to continue viewing it, if you hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me and it helps the channel. If you hit the like button, it helps the YouTube algorithm so that these videos pop up higher when people search this type of topic. So my ultimate goal is to get this message out to as many people as possible so that we kind of prepare for the future of money here. So if you can do that, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, to the topic. The topic of the day is going to be the end of physical currency. And when I mean that, I mean no more pieces of paper, no more coins, no more physical currency, simply digital. Now, I am a big Bitcoin fan. I'm a big fan of gold and silver, but I'm not going to sell you on that on this specific video. This specific video, I want to find some common ground. And I have three points that I think really prove why paper currency and physical coins is going to be completely gone. So in a debate, I used to do a little bit of debate class before I dropped out of college, but in a debate, you want to find the ultimate needles to the balloon. You don't want to go into 10 different points. You want to find just two or three points that really pop the balloon. They're just the needle that there isn't really a counter argument to it. So I broke it down to three reasons why I think physical currency is going to be completely gone in the very near future. And I think it's a lot more soon. It's going to happen a lot more soon than people expect. So the first reason on why I think paper currency is going to be gone is it's filthy. It's a very dirty way to transact, especially in the times of a virus. I know some people say the virus doesn't last on surfaces for too long, but do you really want to be accepting coins and pieces of paper right now during the pandemic? After the pandemic, when everybody's still going to be a bit germaphobic, do you really want to be bartering in, in physical pieces of paper that have touched that many hands like that? It's, it's probably one of the dirtiest items you carry on you as a person, if not the dirtiest item, other than like the bottom of your shoe. So the first reason on why I think paper currency is going to be gone is it's just dirty. It's just a filthy way to transact. Now, the second reason is that I think it's going to be very easy to fake. You've already seen them get rid of the older style notes and move over to these monopoly money looking notes and put a new plastic strip in there and all these different things. But really, is it going to be that hard to fake? I've been on YouTube looking up how to spot fake Rolexes. I've seen quite a few fake Rolexes. The precision and all my coin, uh, all my watch dealers and my coin dealer friends that have seen as many fake Rolexes as I have, if not a lot more than me, know that it's like, I might want to sport a fake Rolex, you know, because I hit my watch on the, on the side of something once in a while, and these fakes are so well detailed. I mean, they literally, the word on the street is that they actually, in China, they copy the Swiss machinery that makes said Rolex, so they're actually making real Rolexes. It's it's kind of crazy how well detailed they are and how much better they're becoming at making fakes. And then in the bullion game, in the, the gold and silver game, the bars are actually plated so thick that they're passing our, our verifier tests on, on our scanners. So the only way to really test it for sure is XRF guns, and even those are starting to get fooled from time to time. So they're getting so good at these fakes. I've seen some fake Carson City Morgan silver dollars that are very rare coins that are just extremely detailed. And obviously a trained eye can spot these out, but for how long? So my ultimate point is, why not just cut out the middleman? And if they haven't cut out the middleman and started faking the currency, when are they going to? Because I wouldn't be surprised to hear, you know, hey, embargo ship coming from China or coming from Venezuela or wherever it's coming from seized with a trillion dollars of fake printed money that we can't distinguish the difference between these notes and real notes other than the serial number. So that's something that I'd like people to wrap their minds around is just how easy it's going to be to fake this stuff in the near future. Okay. Okay. And the final reason on why I think the end of paper currency is coming is for specifically control. 
And there's much more reasons than these three. And I'm probably, maybe another video I'll go into more detail on it, but I'd like to just specifically focus on the top three. The third reason is control. So if you have a, let's say, digital USD coin, you now know every single transaction coming from each individual social security number. The detail that you would get when, some, when currency would go digital would be something that, let's say, a very in-debt country would want. Who's going to pick up this tab? Because over the last couple months, we've been go- we, our deficit has been growing by over a trillion dollars per month. And they only collect, I think it's about three, four trillion in tax revenue from the citizens. So basically what that means is the people that need to pay their bills are going to start putting the magnifying glass on the people that give them the money to pay the bill. And so if you're the government, you really want control. You want to see where all the money's going. That's a very scary thought. It's something that Bitcoin saves us from. But in the near future, I think that what will happen, especially with this pandemic kind of rapidly making us move away. I don't know about you guys, but when I use that Apple Pay, um, that's no endorsement of Apple or anything, but it works really well when I go to like Sprouts or some grocer and I can just boop or pay for a burger and just boop the money over through my phone. I would much rather do that than deal with giving them money and getting back change from that dirty cash register that's touched who knows how many hands. So those are my three reasons on why I think paper currency and coinage is going to be completely obsolete in the near future. Because realistically, it's already monopoly money. When they print all this money, and when they've printed quite a bit of money recently, this money is mostly digital. It doesn't just get, when we say print, it's kind of like a term, but most of it's digital already. And so as we keep expanding this fiat currency bubble, it would just make so much more sense for them to cut out the printing altogether and get more control, more ability to just digitally boot money into the system. It's crazy to think about, but... Those are my points, and that's what this video is all about. I want to keep these kind of short and to the point. So the next video will be on a different topic, but this one specifically is just why I think we can find a middle ground, whether you're for Bitcoin, against Bitcoin, whether you're for gold and silver, against gold and silver. I think we can all agree that physical currency is going to be gone in the near future. And I'm thinking with within a few years, maybe even sooner than that. Shoot, maybe even by the end of 2020, 2021. That's, that's pretty um, dramatic, but I think it's coming a lot sooner than people expect. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like these videos, please share it with your friends. Uh, it means a lot. If you would like to subscribe, that will also mean a lot. Or if you hit the thumbs up button, I know I said that in the beginning, but just trying to reinforce that because I want to get this uh, message out there. But going to be doing a lot more videos on this page. Really excited to be doing more content. I built out this set specifically so I can make content here in my warehouse. Uh, Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you at the next video.